the sex life of plants. There are a lot of plants everywhere we go, but how do they reproduce? That's what I'm going to be talking about today. This picture has all the reproductive organs of the male and female flower and what they consist of. The flower has a carpel, which is the female reproductive organ, which contains the ovary, style and the stigma. The flower also has the stamen, which is the male reproductive organ, which contains the anther and the filament. Pollination Pollination is the act of transferring pollen grains from the male reproductive organ called the anther to the female stigma. Self-pollination Plants can also pollinate themselves. This is called self-pollination. Cross-pollination However, the pollens from stamens of one flower to the stigma of a flower of another plant of the same type is called cross-pollination. Insect-pollinated flowers Insect-pollinated flowers have attractive petals and nectaries. Pollen grains themselves may be in a shape that makes them become easily attached to insects. Wind pollinated flowers. Wind pollinated flowers are commonly less noticeable and have no large sense of petals. Their shapes allow pollen grains to be shaken from the plant and carried away. Fertilization. Fertilization comes after pollination. When the pollen lands on the stigma of a flower, pollen tubes grow down the style. The male sex cells travel down the pollen tubes all the way to the ovaries inside the ovary where fertilization begins. Fertilization is the fusion of the male sex cell with the female sex cell. 